Hello, this is a video to help you learn how to do residuals in Desmos. So you're going to have your data in Desmos. This um, happens to be the cost of college. Um, remember that your X1 is usually going to be your years since a base date. Um, and whatever that base date is, um, then your X1, your first observation in X1 will probably be zero, not always, but it's always the years after your base date. Um, and then these in Y1 are the cost of college. Down here, I came up with a linear model using Y1 tilde MX1 plus B. M is my slope and B is my Y intercept. Now, when I type this in, I'm going to find out what the values are with the model by typing it into Y2. I'm going to create a new column up here. So I'm going to go back to my table and I'm going to click on Y1 and then next to it, I'm going to click on a new column and I'm going to call it Y. Um, you can call it Y2, but you can just tell it what you want. Um, and what I want it to be is my MX, so 795.07X, so my slope times X, plus my Y intercept. Oh, I needed to tell, I want to use X1, whatever your X, whatever your X column is, minus X1. So now in Y1, I have the actual cost of college in those years. And then in this red column here, I have the predicted using my, uh, least squares regression equation that came out. So I want to find out the residuals. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this wider so I can have another column. So now in this column, I'm going to take the actual, um, wait, I'm going to take the estimated, so the, um, the least squares regression, the predicted values, I'm going to copy those. I'm going to put that in this column here, and then I'm going to subtract the actual. And so this blue column here is my residuals. It's the difference of my predicted minus my actual. So my predicted is less than my actual. So I under predicted. And you can see that here by, um, if you zoom in on the graph, you can see that much better. Now, I'm really zooming in here just so I can see. My first one, so you can see what I'm talking about. So you can see my first one here. My predicted on the line in red is underneath my actual by 193.4. Okay, now I'm going to... You can see down here in blue, I've got these blue dots. This is the residuals. And in the project, it's asking you to make a comment about the residuals and what you would expect them to be. So ideally, what do you want your residuals to be? That's the question you need to think about. Remember that Y1 are my actual data values. And then in this red are my predicted data values from my least squares regression line. And then the blue column should be your residual values your predicted subtracting your actual. If the blue is negative, you're predicted under predicted. If the blue is positive, it means your line over predicted or overestimated. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, please let me know.